most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's a beautiful day. We celebrate the fourth week of Lent. We ask Our Lady of Lords to prepare us for Holy Week. And we ask her intercession for all the sick and the dying today. We dedicate this rosary for all the souls in purgatory and for those who have no one to pray for them see the face of God and in turn pray for us on our journey. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. is 
the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. of 
thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The carrying of the cross, we pray for patience. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art
praise and adoration evermore be given to the most holy sacrament. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Grant 
Spirit, we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. St. Jude, pray for us.
Good morning. Welcome everyone to St. Jude Thaddeus Parish. I want to invite especially our visitors to today's Mass. Um, I will ask that you please keep your masks covering your face and your mouth and your nose. And at this time, feel silent your cell phones. We will, uh, the celebration will be led by Father Tree and he'll be assisted by Deacon Sal. And today is the fourth Sunday of Lent. If you'll all please stand and greet each other. Foot in paradise, one in the waste, drawn by your promises, still we are lured by the shadows and the chains we leave behind. Change our hearts this time. Your word says it can be. Change our minds this time. Your life could make us free. We are the people your call set apart, Lord, this time. Change our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grieved fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who leads and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. In those days, all the princes of Judah, the priests, and the people added infidelity to infidelity, practicing all the abominations of the nations and polluting the Lord's temple, which he had consecrated in Jerusalem. Early and often did the Lord, the God of their fathers, send his messengers to them. For he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his warnings, and scoffed at his prophets, until the anger of the Lord against his people was so inflamed that there was no remedy. Their enemies burnt the house of God Bore down the walls of Jerusalem, set all its palaces afire, and destroyed all its precious objects. Those who escaped the sword were carried captive to Babylon, where they became servants of the king of the Chaldeans and his sons, until the kingdom of the Persians came to power. All this was to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. Until the land has retrieved its lost Sabbath, during all the time it lies waste, it shall have rest while the 70 years are fulfilled. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord, spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, King of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heavens, has given to me and he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever therefore among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up and may his God be with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land, we hung up our harps. Let if my tongue be silent, if, if I, I ever, ever forget you. For there are captors asked of us, the lyrics of our song. And our despoilers urged us to be joyous us the songs of Zion. Let if my turn be silent, if, if I, I ever forget, forget you. you. How could we sing a song
song of the Lord in a foreign land. If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silent. If I ever forget you, may my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not. If I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy, let, let my tongue be silenced. If, if I, I ever forget you, A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord be in your mind, lead the heart of the Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him of eternal life. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their work were evil. 
For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The immediate effect of original sin was blaming, blaming. Right after Adam and Eve fall, and they, uh, God asked Adam, why did you do such things? Adam blamed Eve and also blamed God. He said, the woman attempted me. The woman, you, the woman, God, you put it here with me, attempted me. And then Eve and Eve blamed the servant for, for, for her fault. And so that the blaming game that began from that moment. And it's so easy that humanity, we blame one another. We're not taking the responsibility or we're not be accountable for our own actions, but we blame it on somebody else. And even worse, we blame God for it. We blame God for punishing us. We blame God for not doing something to stop it from happen. We blame God for allowing such things. We heard in the first readings, the Israelite, the Lord make it clear that he never abandoned his people, but actually that his people abandoning him, they chose another path. And when God sent his messenger to warn them, to guide them back, to show them the way, they mocked the, the, the messenger. They even persecuted or killed the messengers. They even said that they polluted, they desecrated the holy of holy, the temple. And the consequences that they being, they was corrupted and so they fall. And they've been exiled, and we hear in many psalms, not just today, but many psalms that are crying out to God, or even in the, in the way of blaming God for abandoning them, for not listening to their prayers, for not stopping the things, the bad things that are happening to them. And so they not just take on their own responsibility or accountable for their actions. They blame on him, on God himself. And so also the gospel readings has said the Lord has said to us, affirm his love for us, that he gave us his only son to die for us die a horrible death for us because he loved us. And but we choose, he said, that not the son not come to condemn, not to punish, not come to teach us a lesson, but he come to save us from our own force from our own choice, from our own decision, to save us from ourselves. But he said, the gospel said it clearly, we are the one who make the choice to choose the darkness instead of the light. We choose the darkness over him. We choose not to listen to his words. We choose to go our own way. And then what we do when we fall, when we hurt, when we face the consequences of our actions, whether we blame it on somebody else or we blame it on him for punishing us for our own choice, Many examples, many examples of that. Just simple, you know, if we, if we if I choose to 
uh, stay up late last night do, watching TV or doing things, and, and this morning, you know, we'll feel tired, feel sleepy, have a hard time to get out of bed and, and things, and I blame God. I said, uh, you know, he punished me. He wants to teach me a lesson. I'm not looking at myself and say, no, it was my decision, it was my choice that I made that I fall asleep or I feel tired now. It was not God. It was all my own choosing. In my own decision that I, I did this, and many other things. You know, we see even illnesses, even the COVID, or cancer, and all different things. If we trace it back, and it is human hands, human decision involved in all these things that cause all this suffering, all this death, human greed, human or whatever we, we do, chemical, they put it in, we put it in our food, you know, pollution in the air and all different things that may cause all these things. It's not God. God here to save us. God here to, to try to change our mind, call us, to stop whatever that we do, hurting one another. Accept the responsibility or hold ourselves accountable. It's so critical for our growth, both spiritually and for us as a human person, emotionally as well. If we do not take responsibility for our action, we keep doing the thing we're doing. We out there, whatever, we blame it on everybody else. And so we beat our chest at the beginning, the penitential right. We said it's my fault. I take responsibility for my actions, for, my, for the sin that I committed. When we go to com confession, we're not confessing, you're not confessing your wife or your husband, your spouse sin, or your neighbor sins, or your children or your parents sins. We come and we say to the Lord, my sin, I make this mistake. I am accountable for this. I accept the responsibility of this. I want to change. I want to grow. And also the act when we accept the penance, or we in the heart of woods, or we when we accept to, to pay retribution for our sins. And then we realize, yes, I have to change, I have to grow. I cannot continue on this path anymore. I want to commit myself to make a difference in my life, and the difference in the life of other people. And so that, you know, the sacrament of confession, it says, hold us down, bring us back to that basic, that it no longer blaming on anybody else, but I take responsibility for my own actions, for my own sins, and then growth that could happen to us. The world that we live in, and we see it, we hear it all the time, the blaming on somebody else, the blaming on everything, on everything, and on, on the society, on the world, on our parents, and on the, uh, the people around us, and everything. If we continue to do so, we're not going to change, we're not going to grow. We accept our sinfulness. We accept the responsibility for our action. And we need to hold ourselves accountable for whatever decision that we make. It's my sin, it's my mistake. I am sorry, God. Help me to grow. Help me to, help me to, uh, to change in my life. And that when the growth started. But the first steps that we need to do so, that to take responsible for our action, to come to God, 
to ask for forgiveness, for strength that to help us to continue on that path of spiritual growth in our life. Let us join together to make the profession of our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered for death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we commit ourselves to continual conversion to Jesus, the light of the world, let us offer our petitions to our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, may Christ, the source of their wisdom, strengthen their hearts as they teach God's law in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. For national and local leaders, may God strengthen them in honor and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the sick, the suffering, and those who live in the darkness of fear, may God bring them the light of his healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. For this faith community, may God help us live our faith more abundantly in order to bear good fruit for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For all who have died, may they experience the joy and light of heaven with all those who have gone before us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Special petitions. Health and well-being of Arnold Munoz. Birthday blessings for four-year-old Antonio, Antonio Gonzalez. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. Repose of the souls of An Angel Castillo, Marie Ann Merritt, Joe Morales, Maria Quintana, Harry Delgado. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us turn to our blessed mother and ask her to continue to accompany us on our journey and intercede for all our needs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless us all among women, and bless is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Heart with kids, the finest we come.
come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to He, as when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his. Bless us as you, Lord God, of our course, and the Lord of our course. May the Lord be with us, O Savior. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, the home Lord, Himself to share in our community. Bless us as you, Lord of God, of our grace, and for your goodness and this wine, to offer food of the wine and the wine, and will become our spiritual dream. Our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy to share this heavenly Lord, sin. finest we come give to us Saving Lord, the bread of light to eat. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of his holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings, which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from these older affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with our hand we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of God, O Son of indeed holy O Lord the font of all holiness made holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, name, thy kingdom come, come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins from the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you you take take away away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only only say say the the word word, and my soul soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. <clears throat> Those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who enlighten every one who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. One uh, reminder that uh, the change of uh, confession on Saturday, see now we have uh, our Mass on Saturday and at 5 o'clock. So confession will move back one hour from 2.30 to 4.30. And uh, so please uh, be mindful of that if you uh, need confession on Saturday. And also we have confession on other time. Uh, Please take the bulletin and see the time of confession or check on our website as well. Other that uh, we already received a little uh, bridge, what is a wristband with uh, the the words of love in all different languages.